All right, so typically we would be reviewing... Sorry, typically we would be reviewing our progression series episode, but something else came out today that was probably even better. Pre-watch? I didn't actually pre-watch it. I think I just clicked on it. I don't think I actually... <laughs> Apparently, DZ can never make up his own damn content, so he had to rip off the progression series too. They did Breakers of Shadows? That's disastrous. I don't know if anybody's checked out the thumbnail too, but take a look at this. Hold on. Okay, ignore the fact how I spelt that. But look how similar they are. Look how, like, almost spot on the thumbnail is. You got me pushing up my glasses on the right. You got Doug rubbing his face on the right under his glasses somewhere there. And then you got two white guys there, bro, on the left. That's crazy. It's almost a spitting image. What did you link me here? Dan, didn't you say this was going to be oh, this was a good this car good. trip already? <laughs> dude man learn how to drive bro oh my god <laughs> this is a banger bro look at that handsome guy crazy okay so we're gonna see exactly what the uh the progression series what what did doug do differently hold on let me pull this up you know what me and Simo, we've been doing progression series for a long while. We've been doing it for many, many years at this point. I'd hate to think that there's somebody out there that could do it better than us. So let's see what Doug was capable of. We're going to be watching That's Disastrous, Breakers of Shadows, progression series, season two. He already did a full damn season of this. That's crazy. Hold on. I got to log in so you guys can see yourselves. All right, everybody say something real quick, just so I can make sure you guys are on the uh, the chat arena. All right, there you guys are. There you guys are. There y'all are. All right, lock in. Lock in. We've got a new episode of Progression we got to watch here. All right, DZ, lay it off for me. What do we got? In this series, both MBT and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh booster set. We will build a deck oh, and yeah? play a best 2 out of 3 and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, in each episode we will open another box of the next set that was released in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. But this time around we'll be introducing side sets, <gasps> a new banning system, a and new plenty of other fun surprises -uh. that you'll just have to watch to find out. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series Season 2. This was spot on. For some reason, I feel like it's like twice as fast, which Alex Simo would never stand for that. We've got to hit ad revenue. Let me just see how how quick was the how quick is the average Simo intro for this? The watch the side sets, a new banning system, and plenty of other fun surprises that you'll just have to watch to find out. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series Season 2. Okay, so wait, literally a minute five. Dude, our, our intro was twice as long. See, that's what, that's the, that's the, comes with experience. When you've been in the game a little bit longer, you know how to milk everybody for their money. <laughs> you can put a whole damn advertisement in that time frame. Really? Desk bot? One more game like this and we're hey. going to be sent to the banning. And I know I didn't play that last one perfectly as you were so want to explain in the comments but is he supposed to be making fun of me is that is he supposed is he supposed to be acting out me in this episode do i ever sound like that don't worry if you thought i didn't respect the power of pendulum that all changes with this set breakers of shadow oh yeah so what's going on in breakers of shadow well as you can see on screen it's the set that introduced the incredibly powerful performa pal monkey board oh this, yeah along with guitar and of course a lizard draw were the backbone of a tier zero strategy in the tcg so if we get anything approximating that i'm gonna be feeling super good 
let's just go through this and look at the highlights performer pal trump girl is in here who i did vote for in 2016 we've got some melodious mon who is that supposed to be referring to i did not monsters maybe he's you know his own like character black wings you know what they've been doing we'll this be for they've been Karmic doing this for a whole dust. season i'll let of him of course talk. twilight ninja gets suga the shogun is a really powerful card mm -hmm. for a strategy that performs tribute summons with something definitely like a monarch's storm i definitely did not not remember that card was in that set i i know <laughs> who is that the ninja Fourth, guy we've got the buster blader legacy support and oh boy the dino mists these are mostly low rarity with the exception of rex and they are extremely how's the volume powerful. by the way guys i'd love to pick them up alongside a charge maybe uh we've got the shiranui's which are fine but not nearly strong enough at this point desk bots seven and eight which will certainly strengthen doug's deck and of course some fusion monsters like dinoster power that are going to be very important for us to pick up because they are low rarity and play nicely with pendulums outside of that we've got some spells that spent a long time on the limited list i'm talking about things like drago face off but there it is the dynamist charge that i am looking for and twin twisters would be a nice pickup as well so not too much more to talk about except for some high end like quaking mirror force that will be funny but i don't think game determinative some tcg exclusive like cosmo which mm -hmm. unfortunately i don't think we have the pilots to facilitate and mm. some kaijus that would have somebody uh might be wrong about that one helped us should we find ourselves face to face against a towers strategy without further ado i think it's time for us to get into the pack opening all right here we are with break i like this guy's energy you know like, yeah, it feels like he's been doing this a while. Nice little quick review. Acres of Shadow, a very important set in Yu-Gi-Oh's history. One of the best. It completely warped. Hold on, wait. We got to check out Doug's advertisements as they do for mine. What does he need? This is Square. You know, Doug, business mogul. So he's definitely going to be needing to uh, turn the uh, the tablet around asking for tips. Cisco, apparently my man's internet sucks. I don't know what's going on over here. What do you think this advertisement is? the metagame on release but uh, it's kind of interesting to go into because a lot of the cards in this pack aren't good unless you already have support for them but some of them are really strong like the dino mist cards are probably the best ones that we're looking for here but uh not everything is as why does this thing look like this what is he using to open these why why is his simulator look i've never seen this before i feel like he had to i feel like he had to Yu-Gi-Oh prog what? They have a website? Wait, what? Isn't it just like the same pack opener we use? Did someone develop one specifically for progression series? Is that what this is? It has a ban list maker. I no, I never knew this existed. I never knew this was a real thing. Ban list builder. Wait, that's kind of sick. They sell binders too. Oh no, wait, they don't. <laughs> binder management. What do you mean binder management? Do you like put cards here and it tracks the price? Honestly, kind of fancy, bro. Probably to track your pulls. Oh, that's just the, the the buy. It's the collection. I see. It's the collection. Fascinating. I didn't know this existed. I, I did not know this website was a real thing. As useful as it may seem. You know, like Draco Faceoff, for example, doesn't really have targets in this pack to work. But uh, there are still a lot of good cards. Monkey Board is great to pick up. There are some Perform Pals in this pack. Not a ton, but there are a couple. And we'll probably play them if we do play a Pendulum deck. Uh, also, what's different about this pack compared to some of the other packs that we've opened is that super this pack. is the first time that we have guaranteed super rares mm -hmm. in every mm -hmm. single pack. So Very we get knowledgeable. one rare and then wow. one hollow card, I'm surprised card, you know so much great. about the game. Um, this set has some pretty good supers. Twin Twisters was big back in the day. Hopefully, we can add that to the collection. Also, there's a Pendulum. Oh, Whoa! he got the Buster Blader. That's actually huge. No, wait, Buster no, it's not. Blader, the but okay. Dragon <laughs> Destroyer. Sword. Secret rare, of course, but that's actually pretty big. We do have the Buster Blader support in this pack. So maybe playable. Maybe we can do something with that. That's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, we're mainly looking for Dynamist cards. Oh, we, we got a Cosmo tin can. Tin can. Damn, ultra Doug. Rare. Maybe not the ultra that I'm looking for, but not bad. That's pack Dragon's number three. He's kind of crazy with just it. Just vanity's emptiness. If we do 
happen to have a dragon target for that. Not really sure what cards in the pack, though, are actual targets. Um, I guess these dragons are targets, technically. But, uh, yeah, some more cards here. Engraver of the Mark is kind of funny. Might just be played as an 1800 monster. But, you know, maybe we could, like, do something with it, <laughs> at least. What else do we have here? Look at him. He's oh got the gosh. Buster Blader Wait, deck on lock. We have a Buster He's Blader, ready to the build Destruction it. Swordmaster. Um... Okay, and a Toon Buster Blader. I mean, why not, right? All right, time to open. Let's see what we've got. The Draco face-off, already good. I'm loving these Ooh, dynamics. Ooh, Odd-Eyes Gravity Dragon. Ceratops. Can somebody tell me if I'm wrong? It, it was, No, it wasn't this one. I'm thinking of Borload Riot Dragon. Never mind. I was going to say, isn't one of these guys like a turn skip or something? Or a, Mac, a, a more factor pain. That's the card I'm thinking of, right? Very few ritual monsters are ones that I actually memorize. Ooh, Plesios. Plesios. Oh, he got a tin well. can as Cosmo well. Tin can is good, but I don't think we're going to be able to make use of it unless we pull a ton of Delta shuttles. Eh. There's our first Dino Miss Charge. Very important. Ooh, and a Trap Tricks Raphalesia. You should throw up a memes tweet. Does anybody have memes on this, bro? You slumber a sick rip. Actually, maybe I should. That would be funny. Hold on. Let's see if anybody actually posts any. Perfect. Now we're fully immersed. Yep, there's the Delta Shuttle, another Brachion. And that's our Brachion playset. Uh, while I'm happy with the number of Dynomists we've got, I'm not too happy with the distribution. There's another Plesios, there's a Rush, another Delta Shuttle. Maybe we'll play that Cosmo stuff. What is that? that? What is that? He got a ghost card. What was that? Oh, it's. Uh, that's 008, zero, zero, right. apparently. He got a Shogun Saga, too. Not bad. Stegosaur is good. More of that, please. Just passing over my man Goyo oh, King. Wow, Whoa! Oh my God, he got the infinity. CDI. Oh wow! What did he call it? CDI. Steg God CDI. I've never heard anybody else call this card CDI. Has anybody else heard somebody call this card CDI? <laughs> I've legit never heard that before. This man is just coming up with acronyms. Oh wow! Okay, we don't have no. I've heard Sidra Infinity, but that's just one wheel spin away. Nobody did the wheel, by the way. They didn't do the winners or loser wheel. Ooh, Ooh and a twin twister. Twin Our packs have been really good. I forgot how much good stuff was in this. Set. Another a tin can. Tin Two of them. Oh okay, my fucking god! Cosmo. See if we can pull the playset of the. Uh, a second interrupted kaiju slumber. Oh, these are going very well. Okay, okay sure. That one was kind of crappy. There's our third Delta shuttle. There's a monkey board. That's kind of cool. Uh, hmm. Oh, and there's Master a Draco. Oh good. my God, we can maybe play Draco face off. Okay, no, you let's can't. keep going. We need to have Vector. If we can build Buster Blader, I totally would love to. Uh, we do have some Dynamist cards here. Dynamist Rush is just like a good card in general, even if you don't have like a ton of Pendulum support. Magispector Toad Ogama is a big pickup. I believe there are two different spells in this set that this card can add, or I guess it sets it. And uh, those are pretty decent, so that's actually a pretty good pull. Not bad. Let's keep going. Guiding Ariande, kind of useless. Um, really good card, though. Just not really for our pulls. I think the only counter traps in Another this Another Odd Eyes. Isn't that a second Odd Eyes Gravity strike. Dragon? Odd What's he going to do with two of those? Dragon. I feel like he just pulled that. Interesting. Um, what rarity is Advent? Have we pulled that already? Maybe Advent's playable, common, actually. Sure. Ritual Monsters are pretty funny and sealed. Next pack here. What do we got? The Sword Cosmo Trooper. Cosmo Sword Troopers. I mean, I guess if we just pull enough Cosmo cards, maybe the Tin Can is good, but probably not. Dark Eclipser is the big payoff for it in this pack. Oh, we also have Magispector Supercell. Have not seen... What's the problem okay, with Dark really Eclipser? That... Isn't, like, Dark Eclipser, like, strictly worse than one of the other... Like, it's worse than Dark Destroyer. Like, Dark Destroyer is the best Cosmo ship. 
But like I remember Eclipser has a weird restriction or something. I mean, I guess there isn't nothing wrong with it. It just doesn't do a whole hell of a lot. Stops trap card activations. N I, yeah. <laughs> also, you got to banish a Cosmo from the graveyard, which I mean, all your little... Pi not that that's difficult, but all your pilots are banishing themselves, and the ships banish themselves too from the graveyard when they want to float. So I, I, I can see why this one was never that great. I remember this one sucking. Like, nobody played Darky uh, Eclipser good because we only have one magic specter monster but you know it's good for magic specters in general or dynamis stuff interrupted kaiju slumber That's good to see. Close you know, we do pull one rare every single pack so it isn't impossible to pull the two kaijus required but the set does only have two kaijus so we would dark need planet to pull was, at least dark one copy of both of them we are halfway through and we have not done that though so we'll have to see next pack here Ooh, another, another interrupted slumber. kaiju slumber it's that Doug's easy. the snooziest okay, guy I, mean, if I we know pull a couple kaijus out of these next 10 packs or next 12 packs or whatever that would actually be pretty big another pull gut dude did he pull three gravity dragon that's a world record holy shit <laughs> oh my god we're gonna play this yeah i mean if we have two odd eyes gravity dragon i don't think we can avoid playing it i think we just have to play odd eyes gravity turbo <laughs> what do we got Another, uh, Ogama. another Ogama. Great pickup. Have we pulled um, Pendulum Reborn isn't bad either. What rarity is that advent? I think it's a common, so maybe not too hard to pull. Um, okay, Buster Whelp, actually pretty good because we're probably going to be playing Just play some advanced of these Buster Blader cards. Doug. Not bad at all. Next pack. Oh, <laughs> Doug's pulls, like, as bad as they look, they, like, weirdly meld together pretty well. He has the Buster Blader Fusion and then two Buster Bladers. He's got three Odd Eyes Gravity Dragon. Apparently, none of the ritual spell, but that's, like, okay. impressive. I mean, <laughs> these are crazy pulls. You also, Odd Eyes Advent was apparently a rare. Uh, yeah, I mean, another Destruction Swordmaster. I mean, that's pretty cracked. I don't think we're going to be able to use a redo on this one. I think that we're actually pulling really good. Um, and we pulled a lot of these, like, Buster Blader cards, too, which is great. Pendulum, Pendulum Storm, Storm, you'll love to see it. Like I said, one of the better uh, spells in this pack. That's a super rare. It's, uh, you know, destroy two cards. They're Pendulum Scales and then also a back row. I bet uh, both of us are probably going to be on some Pendulum Monsters, so it should be very good. We have Dharma Eye Magician. Dynamis Charge. I feel like we haven't seen too many copies of that, or I just haven't noticed them. Um, last four packs here, a little bit worrying. Um, only one copy of Odd Eyes Advent, I believe, but, you know, maybe that's okay. Maybe we'll just draw it. I see where Doug got the ad revenue from. He is showing us every single one of his polls and every single one of Joseph's polls. <laughs> that's that's how they're getting it done. I, I finally fully understand, bro. <laughs> Another Sword Troopers. We got Monkey Board. I mean, this is just going to be... Yeah, I can't re-roll these. I really want to because I don't think we pulled enough Dynamist cards, but... Oh, a got second master, master pendulum. pendulum. All right, Doug, respectable. Let's take a look what we got here. Ariadne is a fun card. That's all you got to say no. about it? That's it? There's our first Terran. It's a rare. There's a Sword Trooper. I feel like we have to play Cosmo at this point. Timebreaker Ooh, really Rampage important. Dragon. Uh, secretly an extremely powerful nice. card. Uh, Rampage is cool, but not really for our series. Had to match how long Simo talks. We'll wait till they get to the deck profiles. Uh, Their deck profiles could be 15 minutes each. Shogun Saga. I think that's the second one, too. Man, this website loves to double you up on stuff. These last couple packs have been pretty bad, I'm not going to lie. And anything exciting in the close? There's our monkey board playset. Um, huh. That's it? Well, do you care? He got a, he got a Rafflesia? Wait! Why did it not show us that he got Rafflesia? Honestly, look at these pulls. This might be the greatest Breakers of Shadows box. If it was back in the day. Yo, if he opened this back in the day, that would be crazy. It did? No, I, I swear I didn't see him react to Rafflesia. There's no way. They showed it? Okay, let's keep going. If we can build Buster Blade... 
actually two guys a fun or in the he pulled one shine not bad on him is I think we gotta lock it in. Not important, not important. Not worse. Mm, we only have the two kaiju, so we can only IKS once. Oh, this is now, all I'm saying is if he pulled this back in the day, this would have been the god box. Like actually not even close. Maybe he could have prayed for a couple more twin twisters, but but these two secret rares, unbelievable. A really close one. I think the Raphlesia is too much. I think we gotta lock it in. Next pack. Tuning Magician, Dynaster Power, okay, and then all these poor Buster Blader cards that we pulled last time that we couldn't use. Oh, um, he's doing a reroll. Okay, well, but yeah, I, like here's the thing, you know, it can add Destruction Sword cards, but it's just you need a Buster Blader on the board or in the hand to really use the fusion spells. Yeah, I don't think it really works. Timebreaker Magician we can is one a good card, this? even if we we're can. not playing a ton of Pendulums, even I think we are going to be, but it is just like a Farfly, super annoying. Um, Dino Mister, as in the card Farfly is... <laughs> Uh, Dynamist Rex, you'll love to see it. We actually have a win condition now with the Dynamist cards. Great, great. Trap Tricks Ref Well, there you go. He got his own now, too. There you Blesia. go. Blesia. Really? Okay. Huge secret rare pull. Not sure if we're going to use it too much in today's episode, but very good to add to the collection for future episodes. Yeah, that's great. For future Next episodes. Let's, oh, my God. <laughs> Quaking Mirror Forest. We are, we're just that good. There it is. Quaking Mirror Forest. That good. Next pack. Enlightenment Paladin, the cover card. Um, This isn't terrible. We do Any remember? Does anybody remember this card in the pack had, like, it always had weird stats not like actual stats but like the stats were always super big on the card does anybody remember that or is that just me let me look this up yeah check it out check it out this is like on all copies of enlightenment paladin it's kind of silly the stats are like so much bigger than the box. Has anybody seen this before? This guy's asking twenty dollars for it, but it's actually it's actually pretty common. Big bro. Have some magician pendulum monsters in this pack. MBT pulled it around five oh three. All right, I gotta hear what the white man says about pulling Rafflesia. First item is charge, very important. Ooh, and a trap tricks Rafflesia. I well, I'm so glad I found the timestamp for that. Definitely not a waste of time. X, you'll love to see it. We actually have a win condition now with the Dynamis cards. Great, great. Trap tricks Rafflesia. Really? Okay. Huge secret rare pull. Not sure if we're gonna use it too much in today's episode. Just but a weird princeman on that one specific episode. card. Yeah, yep, great. only on that one. Next pack. Let's, oh my god, Quaking Mirror Forest. We are, we're just that good. There it is, Quaking Mirror Forest, that good. Next pack, Enlightenment Paladin, the cover card. Um, This isn't terrible. We do have some Magician Pendulum Monsters in this pack. We do have some Tuners in this pack, so it could be played. Yeah, not bad. Master Pendulum, okay, that is actually pretty big. That means the in the, Jizzy uh, Kiru. or whatever. The uh, Jizzy! Uh, kaiju. Uh, now we can actually use the Kaiju Slumber, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we have both of them, which is nice. And then uh, the Master Pendulum is good, too, because now we can make the Dinosaur. Pretty big pack there to uh, almost round it out. Final pack, uh, what are we looking for? I think we have, like, most of what we want. So I guess it's just, like, a uh, crazy pull to round it out. Let's see. <laughs> I gotta get <laughs> the back. one back. He's um, gotta yeah, get it still back. Still bad, still can't make him. Oh, well. Let's get the deck building, though, and see what we can make. Okay, here we go. We got the profiles. So here's the list, and it's... Uh I don't remember a transition like that in the actual Fish and Progression series. You know what? Maybe we don't have the budget for it. Maybe they just had the, uh, the, <laughs> they had slightly more money they could put into it. Who edited this? I'm curious. Oh, the Crush Cards did this one. Okay. <coughs> All right. <clears throat> Wait. So they're both doing, they're both just doing Breakers of Shadows? But they're they're not doing actual progression series. Okay, interesting. Uh, I'm 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 curious. This what the fuck is this? What is this poor? What it's is fine. this card? It's Please not great. This the is. one charge is a little frustrating, but I think we have the material to get this done. I know that last week Doug walloped us with like constructed quality desk bots, and now we're showing up with a pile of garbage. But it's a pretty good pile of garbage. Not much in sealed can compete with the Dynamists. I'm sure Doug is playing some number of them, and you're gonna see why in our individual games. I also get to play a pretty sizable Cosmo package. You know, we've got Tin Can, we've got Sword Troopers, we've got Delta Shuttle. I like that. Outside of that, we've got uh, Master Pendulum, uh, Guitar Tool, uh, Coral, Triple Zany Zebra, one of the and the super Royal heavy Rams, guy, bro. Zany Zebra, Midnight Turtle, uh, Stegosaur, Plesios, Terran, Ariadne, Brachion, uh, Ceratops, one of the Monkey Boards. Dharma Eye Magician, Pendulum Storm, Double Dynamic Power Load, Twin Twister, and Dynamus Rush. In the actual, we're just playing the Dynamic Power. It's all that we can actually feasibly go into. I'm feeling okay about our chances, but I think they are really going to hinge on our ability to draw charge consistently. All right, here's the deck. It's looking.
Uh, unrealistic profile wasn't long enough to really get ad rev in due time. I get, ah, uh, I get it. Amateurs. Pretty strong. It's obviously a pendulum strategy. The new Dynamis cards really do take this format to the next level. And I think I got some cool stuff. It was really nice that we pulled two copies of Rack. That card is great. We have the Pendulum Storm. We have the Twin Twisters. We have three copies of Dynamis Charge. But there's also some other cool stuff in here. Why is he playing the? Sh Why is he playing the Shira Newbie guy? Why is this card in your deck, Doug? What is this card going to do? Uh, yeah, I'm so curious. Bad, big, what is this? Big, so I am big something Dark blast. Dorado, Dark and Dorado. And uh, this card is in here because it actually has a pretty funny on normal or special summon effect. You get to stack. I like how they both have Rafflesia in their deck, but they have no trap holes. Neither one of them have trap hole cards to be able to play with Rafflesia. It's just kind of in there. Your deck with four just monsters, flex. and that's why we are playing one copy of the Shirinui Samurai. That is the only fire monster that we had available. I did almost play a small Shirinui engine because I think that slash is very powerful, but it just was it is. so yeah, that's the that that's the accursed attack. I'm pretty sure that MET's deck is going to look kind of similar to this because the Dynamist cards are so powerful. But without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, no doubt, oh, it's Doug, the Dynamist this set may have broken new ground in Yu-Gi-Oh, but you're going to be living in my shadow when I break your shadow. <laughs> Do you like that one? Yeah, that was great. What an excellent pun. This set was crazy, by the way. One of the most powerful sets ever. Uh, in sealed, maybe, I mean, it's good. It's good, but a lot of the cards are high rarity that are worth pulling. Admit it. This is like actually how we talk. This is like literally what me and... <laughs> this is like literally what me and Alex just say. <laughs> I was going to say, you're like, it was good and constructed and sealed. It was also insanely good. It was extremely yeah, powerful. The Dynamis um, cards are really strong. Wow, that's so strange that you mentioned that because I actually have Dynamis Charge in my opener. No, I think, uh, you know, Progression Series Season 1 viewers will remember that Dynamis really did take over. <laughs> These were really powerful cards. Back yeah, back Doug, yeah. But that season, you were schooling me, and this season, I'm about to take you. So wait, he is supposed to be acting like me. Yeah, I, to be fair, the white guy's doing a pretty good job. <laughs> he is pretty spot on with his impression. Yeah, 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 let's see. How do I do this? Uh, it adds a Dynamis card to you. I'm familiar <laughs> with how the card works. I'm going to get Dynamist Brachion. Yeah. I set one card. Okay. Hopefully not Howling, but we'll see. Well, Howling isn't out yet. Then it's not. So. <laughs> yeah, it's really not Howling. That was I'm Legacy support. This. Right, right. I thought I just didn't pull it, but you're right. It was a common. It's like Legacy support in quotes. It's like two Ooh, Doug's more. rocking with the Pendulum okay, okay. Soup as well. That Look at that hand. That's pretty good. Face down Master like Pendulum Pop no, Guiding Ariane. No, search. No, it's him. Nothing. scale Dynamist. Stego sword. Search. Uh, his name's actually. No, it is Stego sword. I thought it was his Stego sword. What am I thinking of? I don't know. Don't and know. police sauce. Police sauce. Okay. It's Plesios, you swine. Plesios. See, I'm not familiar with the Dynamist names here. Let's Pendulum Summon. We got Master. We got Guiding Ariande. We got Dynamist Rex. Oh, summoning oh, no, animation. That's Rex. sick. That's really cool. Oh, that's disastrous. Yeah, Rex is in here. He's fun. Everyone calm down. We're going to use these oh, two monsters. Oh, shoot. To Look at him. He's Dynaster Power. Dynaster Power. Draco Sight. Let's see what happens here. Let's see if it's the turtle. It is not the turtle. Okay. Would it surprise you to know I don't have three counter traps? You know, you, if you <laughs> pulled three strike, more power to you, you know? <laughs> what does this card do? Like, what does this big time blast do? Or what is the card? You, if Bad you pull three strike, blast. more power. Target a face up monster opponent controls. Take damage equal to half its attack and then inflict damage to your opponent equal to that which you took. This card you control is destroyed by opponent's card effect and inflict damage. Okay, so it's ju it just burns. It just burns. That's all this card be doing. You know, <laughs> like, I think that's the only time. Effect, right? Okay, okay, you got rush. Yep. All right, I'm gonna get Ceratops. I actually had Four. forgotten. Oh well, it's on the outbreak. Yeah, it makes sense. I actually had forgotten that um, Spinos was not in this first wave. Nope. That, that must have been the Howling. These duels would be 30 seconds long. Oh, yeah. My no. God. Ooh, that's <laughs> a good pull. Oh, uh oh, right, uh, he's about to pop off. Card that we all know and love. Perform a pal monkey board. Okay, there it is. So, are you just playing this to search the turtle, or did you pull? Oh, you have that is D turtle. Okay, I actually whiffed on the D turtles. Oh, I'm playing. Okay, okay, he's getting his heck? draw. Let's go. It's a guitar turtle. Oh, I see why you didn't want to say that. Okay. Uh, no, I, that's how people this. pronounce it. I, like, no, you don't want your draw. You don't, you don't want a free it's card. A guitar. <laughs> guitar turtle. Gut turtle. Oh my God. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, sure, sure, sure. How do you out the Rex? Let's see here. I don't he know gets how a, out of the Rex. Yeah. Twenty-four attack. He's beefy. Do it like this, I guess. Huh? Oh, I'm gonna cause... search a counter trap here. Yeah, yeah. After damage kill. I mean, this doesn't work, right? Why not? The it's one of these dino stir. Oh, oh right. Yeah. I'm I mean, it, get, so it gets there eventually. It gets wait, there eventually. wait. What? What just happened? What was this interaction? Why was this supposed to work? I guess is the question. Because, granted, nobody's played Dino Miss so far this season, so I haven't had to reread the cards and reacclimate myself to them. But oh, it has to be like a Dino, like probably like. Wait, a, why did you Dino you already card? running it over? You know, it's like I want to proc charge, but I'm doing this anyway. Yeah, yeah. No, I got, it, I got you. All right, we're gonna activate this. There's the bad time blast. Disease. The bad luck blast. Excuse me. I mean, you're getting low. You're and getting low get out there. It, yeah. <laughs> um, hmm. You're getting low too, buddy. 
Yeah, 53. No, that's fair. Sure. And you know what? I'm going to set another card, too. Jeez. Wait, it's actually kind of looking bad for me now. Um, so why couldn't the Sego so sword? This up is what? See, unfortunately, these fellas, now that they're locked into Master Duel, they aren't under the, uh, the current Master Rule. So they don't get to just pendulum summon everything back from the extra deck. Otherwise, I think I think DZF would be doing a okay if that was the case. Unfortunately, my man's on the struggle bus. What's his name? He's what trying his damn best. It? Yeah, that's a good. I believe, Doug. I, I believe. That it would be able to. I, I just expected that you would do that. It never gave me the option. I don't know. Do yeah, it was like no, go to hell. <laughs> yes, <laughs> absolutely not. It was just being nice. We're learning so much today about I know, dinosaurs. I, know. Um, I, I feel better playing it on Master Duel than Season One when we played on Dueling Book because like yeah. we messed up up all the time. The comments were so mean. Like, should I assume that the Rex? Why didn't that work? I'm so confused because like if it doesn't protect it then this plays like really bad but if it does protect it it's pretty strong actually it's probably just still this i think i pendulum summon one copy of rex yeah one copy i don't really like how he moves yeah no Ooh. it gives you the spider-man lizard vibes <laughs> there's no way you said that out loud that <laughs> is that what you thought though is that what you thought i was thinking a little bit about dino miss back shots i'm not gonna lie <laughs> what the fuck um okay so what does it say aren't we all aren't we all truthfully Another pen. Okay, so I can just go attack, <laughs> hit that one. Sure. Yeah. Take take whatever. Yeah, you <sighs> like, isn't this? Oh, fair. Um. All right. Activate. Let's go. Wow, I can almost kill you here, but it's probably better. Oh, that was so awkward. What do you have an extra? Not really anything. I almost want to shuffle back the <laughs> the guy in hand. Yeah. I think I think I am actually. Yeah. Let's get rid of that. See you later. Um. That's fine. Yeah. I think that's good. Yeah, I think that's. I think that is actually the card that's like. Hey, Doug's kind of popping off. I like it. So, I like it. He's back in this game. Another one, please. <laughs> off the top. No, the bit oh, bite turtle. Uh, that's actually quite interesting. Can I kill you here? Uh, From fifty-three it's with no card it's setup. Damn. Well, not Damn no close. card setup, but. Uh, but it's not that close. Oh my gosh. See, the thing here is that it's kind of difficult to get the Rex out of the. I mean, it's impossible. Don't have anything you can pendulum? Oh, is that. Do you only have like a level one out there? That's kind of crap. Let's hit the face down. All right, what do we got? Okay, please work, Segosaur. Like, please. Okay, okay, okay. This time you're allowed to. This time I'm allowed to, sure. The comments are probably going to be like, well, this is why, you know. Like, I don't know. How were you thinking? Oh, because you could have crashed if it worked, but. Wait, that's really good. That's an interesting draw. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like We're Joseph's been ahead this whole game. Situation. Like, having charge is such a huge advantage a over damage. the, uh, the opponent, fine. especially That's in, like, his really Dynamist Mirror Match that appears to be. Really now he has the oh, Field Spell, shit. too. Okay, kind of sure. crazy sucks, right? with it. I, I pendulum summon Bit Bite Turtle, and then, like, you just slap down a low scale and I die. <laughs> I could try it. You got to angle shoot. You know, you got to go for it. I'm just going to summon it in defense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's fair. Okay. You have a girlfriend who's curious? I don't. And what if I did? Who cares if I did, right? I'm gonna summon this really bad card. Um, and then go. Okay. You're right. Attack. Sure. Wait, yeah, they I both guess. are playing the bit bite turtle. Oh my god, they're both playing this card. You know what? It could be worse. This card could be. I've I've seen worse Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I've seen worse pendulum monsters too. I'll put it that way. Some pendulum monsters are embarrassing. How bad they are. Do I attack this? I mean, probably not. If you like, <laughs> I would. Cut no, it's like the bit bite getting pendulum summon every turn is just. Well, not quite Exiled Force, but, you know, kind of. It's almost even better than Exiled Force, right? Yeah, some might say that. You know, if this guy was available in 2003, I bet people would play it. Take 2k for no reason. So bad. <laughs> Unstoppable Force versus Immovable Object. Look at Cosmo really Sarge, no, Sword Trooper. Maybe eventually cool. we'll start be seeing <laughs> the second He's aspect back. of our deck here. Oh! Yeah, right. Sword Trooper. Do you have a, uh, you pull Dark Eclipser, maybe? Maybe. Oh, shit. Oh, oh crap. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Joseph's playing with fire, going down to 15. Yep. Taking full control of the okay. game here. All right, though. go ahead. Let's try to draw any Dino Mist, I think, does it? No. Oh. Cool. Hell yeah, dude. Unfortunately, Mr. DZ, is, is that the end of uh, this no. one? No, it's not. God, the little guy coming back every turn. No, I, I got to waste gotta this. I got to waste this guy. He is a three scale. Well, well, well. Yeah. You no. talked a lot of shit on Bit by Turtle. <laughs> I'm not. No, that card's crazy. Are you kidding me? I'm not talking shit on that. I would never talk shit on that guy. Attack in the field. Yeah, these cards just do nothing. That's really impressive, actually. Like, how much these cards don't do when you don't have two Dynamis. Um, yeah. But at least I can take out the Sword Trooper. So oh. who's the real winner here? When you draw that Eclipse for well, turn, like you're going to feel real stupid. Oh, man. Oh, if only he kept his sword trooper. I was going to say, that's perfect. That outs the Rex and everything, too. Oh, that would be so smelly. Now, don't you feel silly? Uh, Well, I, I have no out to the Rex, right? I mean, defense mode, bit bite kind of does it. Fully react the video? Do no, he won't. Uh, but 
I would like to win the game at some point. If I didn't bad luck blast you, you would have an out to the Rexer. Oh, he can just pendulum summon right. it. Oh, okay, never mind. Problem you know, solved. I learned from that. <laughs> oh shit! I actually, well, I guess not really punished because he just pendulum summoned. But oh wait, I could have killed you here. No. Yeah, you could have sent himself. What? Oh, because of the. I still don't have enough. Yeah. Oh right, right. Okay, that's I didn't even consider that. That's pretty cool. Um, don't you do it? Don't you do it, Doug? I know you're thinking about it. Negate the activated. I feel like I have to, right? I mean, that seems pretty good. Too bad it doesn't like no, kill yeah. it, but too bad it doesn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dynamis, Dynamis, Dynamis. No, it's fine. It's fine. All right, I activate. Wait, what? Why can? Oh fuck! Yeah, oh, I've that taken sucks. up the extra like, monster zones. Why I can't do Whoops! That. Okay, um, Whoops! Wow, silly actually, guy. Awesome. Extra monster zones are tough. Um, let's yeah, go. Uh -oh. This guy. Uh, what? Oh, oh, oh my god, I thought it couldn't... It automatically targets itself. I was like, oh my god, it can't... Yeah, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was like a hard I need him! Um, yeah, we will hit the shuttle. You can float oh, into a sword trooper, you know, live your life. Wrong. Float into a sword trooper? Do you, do you think that's what I'm gonna do, Doug? No way you have... The tin oh. can, bro. Uh oh, no way you have enough targets for this guy. You know what? Both of these decks are built together. pretty well for just a one set little <laughs> sealed. Oh my thing. god, sword dude! Trooper. Holy sword shit! It was it. actually they're yeah, super yeah. back and forth. Oh my god, terrifying! Actually shit. terrifying. Uh... Yeah. Why did you even put the super heavy samurai guy in your deck? That's what I want to know. He's a scale. I guess if you don't have any spell, I mean, yeah, you only have one speller trap in the grave, so. Okay, that's pretty good. Um. Oh, except it's not. Yeah, it's so frustrating. Yeah, yeah, you get that guy back. Live your life. Yeah, I mean, right. I think we'll do it just to try to oh. cut you off a little bit at least. Um, okay. We'll All go right, battle. We'll round. hit. I mean, we'll hit this guy. Sure. Oh, that does work when I attack. Huh. I just realized that. Um, no, but you have to battle my dino. Oh, if a dino sponsor, you Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And it still is just that I can't activate it. Sure. Okay, let's take this out. I feel like I'm, you know, closing in. I think like this is going oh, yeah. in. Doug's doing okay. Doug's doing okay. If only yeah, there was some rank five you could possibly make. Another Brachion? Wow. Are there any rank fives in this set? I didn't think so. They're not. Yeah, that'd be pretty strong. Not good. Dude's the Brachion Baron over here. Look at him. You know, this is just uh Oh the Jizzy Cummy! No, that is not. This is just payback for whenever you like bullied me with the timebreaker magician. I can't remember what roulette that was, but that's, that's never happened. That's it definitely it absolutely happened. Crush cards? Well, I would say roll the clip, but it's like probably <laughs> five years go old. through five hundred hours yeah. of clips. <laughs> Like literally a year and a half ago. This is a real problem. I think it probably was when you like played this set. Okay, did I finally like chip you down here? Go ahead. Okay, not bad. Jeez. Not bad. Would you got? Seventeen, you got? by the way. Oh, the zany zebra, not to enough to save our zebra, friend. Weird phrase. Did I think I Joseph get in there? loses uh, this one. I thought he was in full control of this one too. I'm kind of surprised. Thank couldn't God. get over Rex. <laughs> Just oh. simply couldn't beat Rex. Holy shit! Oh, I can't even. Oh, there we go. Finally drew a fucking playable card. Okay. Let's let's clean this up real quick. Let's let's go charge in the pendulum zone because I'm built yeah. different, I guess. Um, <laughs> all right, finally, finally, did it? Got in there, got in there. Take that guy out. Fifteen. Oh, this doesn't get to activate. That's fucked up. All right. I think it's all right. All right, game good two. job, Doug. Finally took it down. Proud of you, man. Proud of you. That was an intense game one, honestly. Okay. Go ahead. Just a set two pass, humble from the DZ. It's definitely possible that I just die right here, but I'm sure it's fine. Handful of pendulums, though. Some of the worst ones I've ever seen. Video. He's got uh, two of the super heavy guy. <laughs> that is zany. Yep. Imagine if this card could target the extra monsters out. Oh, right. Sure. Yep. Oh, what? That is so smelly. Locking up the pendulum zone like that. Ooh, the zany zebra. What a guy. I got to read that card again. Hold on. Zany zebra. That's awesome. That's freaking. That's so sick. All right, let's. Oh, try never for mind. It. It, it unfortunately wasn't um, sick TV at all. It was. Yeah, let's get this. <laughs> it was not oh, sick yeah, at it's, all. Yeah, it's a crazy ass super incinerated. Rare, I will say. <laughs> no darkness yet. Now I get to float into a. Uh... Oop, my bad. That's right. Oh, uh, what do I do here? Um. Yeah. Take seventeen. I'm just gonna flip over, rush. I'm gonna yep. get rushed for yep, my life yep, savings. Yep. 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 You already know. Yep, already yep, know. yep, yep. There he is. The boy. Did, I'm curious. Wow. Did you use your uh, your redoer ticket today? I did not. Okay. I pulled I'm like a, I should have. I didn't realize how much of a difference maker Rex was. Yeah. No, I, I pulled like a <clears throat> full Buster Blader deck out of the first um, run through. And then I realized that like none of the cards work without the original Buster Blader. It was really sad. All right. Yeah. Like, Coming back for the age of DZ, bro. You actually have like a way to get it on the field. So it doesn't really you didn't want to play Toon Buster Blader? 
you yeah, know. you know the <laughs> grief of DZ. I that's thought what about it's it. Is it. Does this one have? No, no, I think it's see you, fella. The, the 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 unbeatable well, racks. You never pulled Buster Blader? It's Buster Blader. That's not in the set. Yeah, back in like LOB. Did you you have oh, to pull Buster? Oh, you know Blader. I wasn't a like big a I wasn't a big Buster Blader. -er. I'm gonna be honest. Um, that was not really my thing back in the day. I, I wasn't a big fan you of the Joey Blader. cards, honestly. Wow, this is you're committing a hate crime on me while <laughs> committing a hate crime on me. Oh jeez, I can't it. believe this card hand loops. That's so silly. It's crazy. It shouldn't have to tribute a Dynamite though. Let's be real. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I actually am very happy that it does. Oh, perfect yeah. timing. Is, let's let's just show the wonderful audience at home how this works. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't know if that does a whole hell of a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yo, there you go. Um, Whoops. See ya. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. So you did have. I the... just need you to not have a high scale. I, I mean, I, I guess it doesn't even I can't even pendulum someone. Yeah. Yeah. Let's we'll go battle. Hit you for twenty-five. Main two. Let's scale this guy. Wow. The Triceratops is actually way better than this one. Um. Go ahead. Yeah. Rex Turbo. I mean, this is just. Rex is strong. Well, I think that might be the end of the game there, Mr. Mono Blue Tron. Oh, God, oh he's just putting again. things in defense now, keeping himself alive. The, the turtle. Oh, there you go. Normal summon. Of this game. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, normal. Oh, that's actually not enough. Okay, yeah, see that guy. Yikes. All right, come on. You gotta have something. This is a draw that changes everything right here. Charge would do it. Charge is pretty strong, yeah. He got, happy, royal bro? Okay. he got a Royal Zane Easy, bro. He got a Royal Zane Easy, bro. What a flex. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> How did you keep this? You just crafted this when you were deck building and you kept that in? Yeah. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah. The excitement. Oh shit, I get to end it with the MVP. I normal summon. Bit oh. bite. Oh, there turtle. he goes. The bit you bite, like turtle. On bit by turtle. You know what? He actually came in clutch. Uh, GG's. See you guys next week. I will see you in the banning. <laughs> Honestly, props to these boys. They put on a show. This was good. This is comparable. Like I said, they're missing out on very valuable dollar amounts from only cutting this, uh, the episode in half. As you can see, the most recent episode was 51 minutes. Uh, that's how you do it. Maybe you could learn a little something. But no, it was fun. I don't, the, guy, the boys did a good job. This set was actually pretty interesting to see sealed. I thought it would have been uh, pretty tough, bro. Can you call Joseph to talk about the match? Like he does you? He, I think he gave me a call today and I didn't pick up. I felt bad. Let's see if he picks up. Unfortunately, no answer from Joseph. He's probably making, like, love to his wife or something like that, bro. We let him do it. Nah, good job, boys. That was a good episode to watch. I'm excited for the next episode. Can't wait for next week. Definitely, definitely stoked. <laughs> All right, folks. He's playing Balatro. Oh. Much more exciting than making fun of you in real life. Let's see if we have any responses to the beeps. I don't know what I expected. I don't know what I expected. <laughs> All right, let's play Hearthstone.